All right, so I just came to mom's house because I had another vlog and like I told you guys earlier, I'm gonna continue to bring them by and kind of go over them with her. And so we went over it and what was like a 15 minute vlog went down to about nine, nine and change, but I'm really proud of it, what we put out. And uh, hopefully you guys watch it and enjoy it. Let me know what you guys think, you know, leave comments. But now I asked Jess earlier, I was like, you wanna order some food and go for like a picnic? It's something we talked about like trying to make like a little date night or date day <laughs> day date um so she ordered sushi so i'm gonna go pick her up now and we're gonna enjoy like we're gonna go find like a park i have an idea there's like a little park kind of ravine place and i figured we could eat our sushi we'll go for a walk but it's still really really hot right now that's the only thing so me and lloyd in like this group chat we have our own little conversation because apparently we're the only two that use baby wipes so Lloyd has this thing like you go wet wipe, dry wipe, wet wipe. I used to go dry wipe to wet wipes. So I'm trying to adopt his way of doing things to see if it actually works. It's a little, it's a little better. I'll be honest. I give him a little credit. Ugh. Just waiting for dinner. We're gonna eat our food outside and enjoy this beautiful weather. As I sit here and wait, I just realized I'm laying on a dirty hood. My dinner. And it, we just thought we'd do something different to eat outside. But we got it over the Well, today was off to a good start, but now it's starting to slowly, slowly get tougher and tougher. One of my key people that I was relying on to show up tonight to deliver us the result that I needed just called in. Uh, she's dealing with something. And no matter how many inventories I go through as a manager, this is always the same thing. Four or five days out, you get calls, no shows, you know, people not willing to work. Guest is making butter chicken tonight. Tell me how to use our pressure cooker. It's super simple. You just your sauce, whether it's your sauce or your base, you put it in. A cup full, you put the chicken on top, you basically just pick your time that you want to cook it for, basically, and that's it. Um, there's still one or two processes, though, that I have to, um, she has to show me, but so far, super simple. All right, so it's been a pretty tough week, just trying to find time. Getting home really late, getting home at about six every day. Now, I'm already pretty lazy when it comes to doing laundry, I make every excuse in the world and it's not good but because of those excuses and because I just it's my least favorite thing to do I got to do some hand washing today and I got to pick the things I'm gonna need for the next couple days because what's tomorrow's Wednesday so I got Wednesday Thursday Friday they're gonna be hectic days but these pants that I've been wearing I'm gonna show you guys these ones these are super comfy and super stretchy but when it's like 35, 40 degrees outside, these are not what you want to be wearing, man. These things are, they're hot. I need to go back to my thin ones. But I don't think I showed you guys where they ripped. They got destroyed by a door. So at some point I need my mom to sew them. But for the time being, we got these nice, delicious, sexy, thin ones that are, they're good. So I got to wash those. Last night I intended to do so. Sorry, just was asking me if she could share my soda. So, yeah, yesterday I meant to do that, and I just remember eating dinner with Jess, and when I woke up, it was like one o'clock in the morning, so didn't happen. All right, so we're gonna take these pants out, um, wash this shirt. Oh, 
Look at this really funky drain Jess bought. I've broken it like twice. She keeps fixing it. She doesn't realize I'm trying to do it intentionally, but she's too persistent. She keeps fixing it. Maybe I should try to break it this time. She's letting me know because we're gonna release, I guess the steam from the pressure cooker. So you click this. This? You push it, it's gonna be loud. So you're gonna push it out this way. Okay. Little switch. Watch your hand because the steam's gonna come up. You gotta hold it. Okay, Alright, so we released it. It's fine, but it's actually <laughs> it's undercooked, so we gotta cook it for a little bit longer. But she's just gonna she's just gonna cook it on the pan. It's like 2 a.m. in the morning. Jess is sleeping. I fell asleep while she went to the gym, so now I'm not tired. Why am I awake? I went to sleep at like 2. It's 6.45. And I should be getting some sleep because today is going to be a very long day. I could be at work till like 1 a.m. Alright. I gotta get ready for work. I'm telling you, man. Inventories. They do something to me, man. They just make me super nervous, super anxious. Today, again, same story. All week since Sunday, right through till today, somebody's called in sick or called in and said they can't make it. And so even when I've had a full crew, I'm still stressed. I'm still thinking. I'm still like, did I get everything? You take one person out of that equation, that's magnified by like, a hundred percent because now how do I get to this how do I get to this how can I push that next person to help me get the result I need I just need this day to be over with and get this behind me and just go back to business as usual so tight oh no you guys saw that hole. I know you saw that hole. So we're gonna put on this bear. Can't have the toes poking out. What? What? I always just think about what if I had to take my shoes off and like my big toe is just sitting right there. Like look. <laughs> All right, so it's Friday now. Inventory's done, finally. And I'm so proud of myself. So normally for inventory, as I told you guys earlier in the video, I get super stressed, I panic. And the reason being is because when you don't do something enough, I feel like I'm pretty sure everybody struggles with this. You don't do it enough, you feel uncomfortable no matter how many times. And this is something we only do twice a year. Now, I'm not saying I forget how to do it, but I get so panicked about doing it that I always make mistakes. So I'm proud of myself. Normally I'll call Brian, I lean on him really heavily. I didn't do that today. Why? I'm lying. I called him three times. Well, I called him once, texted him twice. But that's still much better than last time where I had to keep him on the phone. He had to go into his office just to be able to help me. So I wanted to try to figure it out as best I could on my own today without burdening him. And that's why I'm super proud today. Uh, the process was hard. It was long. It was stressful. But I want to thank my guys guys girls everybody that helped uh they did amazing uh and the store actually looked great my boss loved the way the store looked and now let's just hope that all that hard work pays off with a good positive result all right guys that's it for the vlog it's getting late i'm really tired i want to take this opportunity to get a little bit of rest so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video i want to thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in a couple of days peace